Circles are everywhere, but what makes a circle a circle? Hey, some ninjas, it's Rose here, and today is shape day four. So, what is a circle? Recall when we said that a circle is a two dimensional shape. Good. A circle is a shape where every point is the same distance from the center. Okay, let's show you using a diagram. The circumference is the perimeter just around the circle, right? Then this is the center of a circle. So the distance from the center to any one of its boundaries is called your radius. It's denoted with the letter R. Now, any line that divides the circle into two equal arcs is called the diameter. And so that's why you know that the diameter is always two times your radius because you had two of the radius to give you a diameter. You hear of something called a tangent. Tangent is a line that touches the circle at a unique point and it lies outside the circle. So another part of the circle called a chord. A chord is a line from one point to another point in the circle but it's not crossing the center of the circle. So your diameter can also be like this. So some people are not wondering why is a diameter slanted? You know, it's called the arc. The arc of the circle is referred to as a curve, which is a part or a portion of its circumference. The sector of a circle is defined as the area that is enclosed by two radii. When we have radius, radius means one, radii means more than one. This is one radius, another radius giving you a sector. We also have the segment, we have the second, we have the circle formulas, which is the area of a circle, circumference of a circle, the arc length, the area of a sector, length of cord, area of segment formula, and so on and so forth. So you see that circles have so much to give to you. If you are able to tell the parts of a circle, you should be able to solve anything about a circle. So what are the real life examples of the shape? We have our donut, we have the wall clock, we have the frisbees, we have the tire, we have buttons, and we have targets. So one last question for you before we head out. Is a football a sphere or a circle? Let us know in the comment section. Until next class, bye.